Hey guys, welcome to the Field of 68 YouTube channel. If you like what you see here, hit that subscribe button and you'll get more college basketball content just like this. Uh, another team that has kind of put some things together here is Arizona. It is uh, still a 30-point lead for the Wildcats. There are now nine minutes left in that game. I just well, We might as well just talk about them right now because Colorado was not making a comeback here. Arizona coming into this game had lost three of their last five. They gave up 92 points against Purdue in what was effectively a road game. They gave up 96 points, albeit in double overtime, in a loss to Florida Atlantic uh, in what was effectively a home game. And then they gave up 100 to Stanford on a road game on New Year's Eve. Uh, 36 points in 31 minutes right now for Colorado. It seems like the message that uh, that Tommy Lloyd maybe put out, McCall, was, uh, was heard by this team. Yeah, I, I mean, look, I think they're really good. I, I think when you look at, you know, their league too, and especially tonight in Colorado's undermanned, I mean, we got to, you know, put that out there because I thought that Colorado was really the one team that could push Arizona in the league, and we didn't get to see them at full strength tonight. Um, I'm not going to throw out my winning is hard line because I don't want to get a text during the middle of this show from Jeff Goodman that McCall always says that winning is hard, which it is hard, but I'm not going to throw that out there. But, you know, I, I mean, when you look at, you know, who they've beaten, who they've played, and, you know, even their losses. I mean, they lost to Purdue, who could win a national championship, and I think they're the clear-cut number one team in the country. They lose in Vegas to FAU, who I know FAU has lost a couple games that nobody expected them to lose, but they're still a really, really good team. And I think the Stanford one was a little bit surprising, giving up as many points as they did. But, you know, you're still growing, you're learning, you're figuring out your team, and now it's January. And what's our identity? Who are we going to be? How are we going to play as we get into league play? And understanding, too, look, I don't care where we're playing or who we're playing against across their jersey or what their record is. It's conference play. And everybody seems to raise their level once you get into league play. So you want to say we're going on the road and we're playing against Stanford, we're going to be okay. That's how you get beat. And you still have a young head coach in Tommy Lloyd that's figuring things out too on who he is as a head coach, even with all his experiences at Gonzaga. It's going through some of these things, but understanding it, it doesn't matter. I don't care what Stanford's record is. They're, they're fully capable of beating us if we don't show up in between these lines and play to our standard, but I, you know, I, I still think that they're a final four caliber team. And I, I just don't know who, yeah, you know what, McCall, I, I want to, I want to go back to one thing real quick that you mentioned on, uh, you, you said, I don't want to say winning is hard. I think that the, this is actually where it, it makes a lot of sense to, to, to happen to the conversation, right? You play Purdue in Indianapolis and you lose a, a, what was a, like a close game, right? You lost by eight points uh, on, on a, road atmosphere against the best team in college basketball. Then you go out in double overtime and you lose because Nellie Davis has a career game that goes absolutely bonkers against a team that's coming off of a run to the final four. And then you go and on Arizona the road to New York. Yeah. And, and you're going on the road to Stanford, Mac. It's the second game of a road trip. It is New Year's Eve. You have a bunch of kids on that roster that are probably thinking, okay, we're going to smack this 6-7 and seven team, and we're going to go home, and we're going to go back to Tucson where we have an unbelievable New Year's Eve party, right? Like, I, I think all three of those losses, you can kind of look at it and say, yeah, I get why those happened. Yeah, I mean, but if you're, uh, you know, if you're the coach of that, that team, you're not really excited <laughs> about uh, taking the L, you know. It happens, man. You know, it, it happens. Understand Arizona's had such an incredible tradition uh, for so long that when they show up to Stanford, Stanford's excited to play. I mean, that's that's a, an opportunity to get a quad one win, a feather in their cap, you know, maybe start turning things uh, for the better as they start Pac-12 play. So, uh, you know, Tommy's going to have, you know, you're going to have ups and downs, especially when you have some young players. And again, I know Caleb's obviously a, a very experienced player, but Kylan Boswell's young and, and uh, again, their togetherness is young. Arizona's going to be fine in the long run. And sometimes games like that, although stinks in the, in the short term, a lot of times they're good for your team. You know, you're going to play other games where, you know, you probably would possibly overlook the, the opponent. But hopefully you have a reminder now that you can't do that. 
as they found out in Palo Alto. Thank you for watching the Field of 68. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here, hit that like button, share this link with your friends, or check out the description for some other places that you can consume Field of 68 content.